Hello guys, Brooklyn here, and this is a review of the latest LEGO Tumblr, so stay tuned to find out more. So guys, I hope you're having a great day, and if you do go on to enjoy the video, why not subscribe as well as turn notifications and like the video, but let's get into it. So today we got LEGO DC Super Heroes 76239, the Batman Tumblr Scarecrow Showdown. This one includes 422 pieces with the minifigures of Batman and Scarecrow, both of which are exclusive to this set. It's going to retail for £40.35 and official releases on October 1st, 2021. So let's get straight into the minifigures. So first off, we have Batman, who features some amazing new torso printing. You can see just how much detail there is on that torso. There's no printing on the legs. It also includes a Batarang, which most Batman figures get these days. And if you remove the cowl, you can simply see he has a smiling face expression, kind of a bit angry, crossed with a smile. Then you can also see basically the white strip, and then you put his hat on, and then you can see that it covers the face up, and you can just see the white eyes, and then also the expression. And then we turn Batman to the back, you can see that he has a more kind of just basically no motion really, a bit annoyed face. You can also see that white printing continues on the back. Of course there is a cape as well, you can pull it up, you can see there's more printing there on the back. So the entire figure has printing 360 degrees on the torso, unfortunately not on the arms though. Simply put it on, and you can see the face expression on the back, but there is a cool feature with a different head piece for Batman. And then for Batman, you also get this second face, basically showing the devil demon Batman from the film. You can see this one here, it looks pretty cool. If you add the cowl onto it, it makes it look even better, because it basically looks pretty scary. You see that angry smile basically coming through the, the cowl, and it looks really good. The only downside, I'd say, with this whole figure is they're still using the same cowl they've used for years. So it does look a bit outdated, and a lot of new figures get obviously updated moulds. So I think it would have been crazy and really good if they made a newer mould for this Batman. But I think the character overall looks pretty good for this $40 set. Then of course this set is obviously called the Scarecrow Showdown, so you can't have that without Scarecrow himself, which you can see here, wearing a waistcoat suit, you can see the tie underneath with a white shirt, the first print is brand new, it looks really really good, you can see the two eyes and then also the open mouth with some stitches around it, no printing on the legs or the arms, which is neither with either of these figures in this set, which isn't too bad, and then you can see from the back of the figure, the printing has also continued onto the back, you can see it continues there with some basically printed on the back, which is really good and detailed, you can also see some of the back of the Scarecrow, print on the back not too much printing on the back of the torso but really detailed on the back of the head i think for me this is my favorite version of scarecrow so far obviously the most accurate version we've got so i think this one is really great and accompanies batman really well in this set as the villain and now for the tumblr itself, this set is actually really good. It's a lot bigger when I originally thought from kind of looking at the images from which we actually build it. I think this is a great set. You can see it's quite a heavy build, quite a big one. You can see there's two small tires at the front and then on the back of the model there's two larger tires. So it is basically on an angle with these coming raising up at the back. You can see there's loads of detail in. Also when you build this, there's some really good building techniques as well. You can see down the side there's loads of different techniques to build up this side bit. You can also adjust these, you can move these up and down. There is a lot of moving functions and then of course because this one obviously you want to put batman inside you simply put that upside and then it exposes a brand new cockpit inside loads of different things you can actually fit two figures inside you can see there so basically really easy to do you just simply pick up batman and then you have to adjust his arms a little bit but then you can just put batman inside which is really simple and then basically shut it and you've got Batman driving the tumbler. You might be able to see him through the front, maybe without the reflection, but I think the tumbler is a great build. You also have these on the back, which are adjustable, so you can basically display it how you want. I think it just looks really good. You also have this piece on the front, which is a stickered element. And I must say about the stickers, there's not too many in the set. It just feels like the right amount. Like well, I have this one on the side, then you have one of these on either side, this little piece. And then I think on the back, there isn't even any. So there might be a few in the cockpit as well, but overall, there's not many stickers at all. So let's have a look, a deep dive into the the cockpit. So now I've just removed this little bat bit to take a look inside the cockpit. You can see those two sticker elements I was talking about, they make up the console. There's also a piece to represent the steering wheel, also a green slope in the middle and also a green slope here as well. So I think the cockpit is really good. As you said before, you can fit two figures in the back. There's also the seats represented by some curved grey pieces in the back. Then you also have three windshields, which aren't the most common piece, which is really nice. So you have these two on the side, which are kind of built over, and then you have the main one in the centre, which Batman will obviously look out of. You can see on the back there the two big tires i basically just removed this little bit to get a better look at the cockpit but you can get a sense of the size of this model as well which i think is really really good 
Then I just wanted to mention as well, in kind of the play aspect to this one, it's obviously that you can roll it along the floor. But I've got to say, there is quite a lot of friction with this build. So if you see, if I push it along, it doesn't really go that far. And obviously pieces like these little bits break off the back. But when you push it, it doesn't actually go that far without stopping. There seems to be something in this front bit which is kind of stopping it. Maybe I built it wrong. I mean, this is on quite a smooth surface, so you'd expect it to go quite fast without stopping. So obviously, if you're a kid playing with this on carpet, it's going to be quite problematic. But obviously, most of you watching this video are probably getting this as a display model or for the figures so i don't think that's a huge issue i just thought that i'd highlight it so this is the lego batman tumblr obviously this was just a quick brief review but i've got to say i'm really pleased with this set i think with the minifigures they look really good as well especially the new scarecrow like i said the batman is a little bit outdated but i think the actual tumblr build itself is really really good a lot bigger than i expected and i think for 40 dollars it does kind of seem justified and also the amount of pieces you're getting seems pretty good for that price if you compare it to other sets that are coming out in october so the sanctum sanctorum i think the figures are definitely better in that set but i think the build is overall one of the solidest builds of this upcoming October superhero wave and I think you'll definitely enjoy this one as a display model I'm sure if you got the other tumblers it's going to be the best one so far and obviously it's going to go great with a huge one coming out in November but yeah what do you think of this one like video subscribe comment down below what do you think of it as, uh, you can watch any of the videos on screen now remember guys keep clicking and breaking I'll see you all later guys bye bye